Uh, session one, learning objective four, we're going to talk a little bit about the agency problem and control the corporation. Who controls the corporation in uh, today's market? Uh, you may, again, encounter an agency problem at a very young age. You may tell your friend Jimmy to sell your car. You uh, come up to uh, College of Penn State and decide that, um, please sell my car. I really don't need it in State College. It's a small town. I can walk everywhere. I do need the cash. Please sell my car as fast as possible. I'll give you $500. Well, uh, you are the principal, and Jimmy is the agent. I, uh, I uh, overemphasize that word for the spelling purposes, principal. Um and Jimmy is your agent, Jimmy will sell that car as quickly as possible and uh, to get his $500. He may not achieve the uh, price that you want. A better way to handle that to avoid the agency problem at age 17 or 18 when you come up to school is to uh, say, Jimmy, I'll give you 10%. Here's my minimum goal. I'd like you to sell it for $2,000, and I'll give you uh, a percentage of whatever you can sell. If you can sell for $3,000, I'll give you 10%. You'll make more money. And that avoids the agency problem uh, that would occur if you just say, sell my car quickly. And I'll give you $200 or $500, uh, a flat fee. So that may happen at that young age. Uh, you see a student athlete here pictured. As a student athlete, you may run into an agency problem where you actually get an agent. And it's specifically uh, called out in the NCAA guidelines that are uh, read to you constantly by your uh, coaches, all coaches do this, uh, and they have advisors come in and uh, advise you don't uh, deal with agents during your uh, undergraduate career because it's an NCAA violation and you'll uh, be uh, terminated from your playing ability, your, your, your playing days. Uh, you won't be able to play anymore. This happens uh, across the country all the time despite uh, coaches pleading with the athletes because it's very tempting. The agent uh, you are the principal, once again, if you're the student athlete. The agent has in mind uh, that they would like to represent you when you go to the NFL or NBA or MLB. Uh, so they will move in on you at an early age, and you'll find that uh, it's against NCAA rules and guidelines. And uh, you'll find yourself not playing anymore. Uh, basically, the agent wants a percent of your salary, ultimately, but they will uh, try to attract you before your eligibility is over. Um, you're in trouble. You really can't take any money from an agent. When you do, you can get in trouble in the NCAA, and you see uh, bowl trophies being removed and, and things like that, championships taken away from teams who uh, have players who have been dealing with agents. So the bottom line, again, is don't deal with any agents during your NCAA uh, playing days. Uh, when you get a little bit older and you're uh, an executive in a corporation, same thing. Again, you have to try to uh, abide by the wishes and goals of the shareholders, which again is to increase market value per share of existing stock. If you do, uh, if you have actions that are detrimental to the uh, organization or contrary to that goal, then you may find yourself in another agency problem. For instance, um, you buy a corporate jet that you really don't need, uh, even if it's using uh, stockholders' money. Again, that does not maximize value per share of existing stock. Uh, you may avoid a um, uh, acquisition because you're afraid for your job. That might also be determined to be an agency problem. So you can get into these um, agency problems later in life. You can also misuse corporate funds. Uh, you see some examples, Tyco, where the uh, president of Tyco threw a birthday party for his wife in Sardinia, uh, which is off the coast of Italy, using company funds. Again, you have an agency problem. The shareholders, if voted on this, would probably not uh, want you to do this. In the case of Adelphia, which was a uh, cable provider in uh, north central Pennsylvania, some of the uh, executives of that company, CEO and CFO, were doing some off balance sheet transactions, SPE, special purpose entities, uh, using shareholders' funds to buy some land in Arizona. Again, would shareholders vote to do this? Probably not. Um, not with uh, not with company money that would not be increasing market value per share of existing stock. So you can get into agency problems and incur direct agency costs and indirect agency costs. Um, direct agency costs might be, again, buying a, uh, a company jet that you really don't need with company funds or hiring an outside auditor to review your financial statements. Um, try to avoid agency problems at all costs. Uh, to en encourage managers to uh, behave in the interest of the stockholders. Managerial compensation these days is often tied to performance. 
Uh, Steve Jobs recently noted in the Wall Street Journal made almost $750 million in the decade of the 2000s uh, because of outstanding performance, both at Pixar with uh, several films, Toy Story and Up and WALL-E and the list goes on and on, Toy Story 1, 2, 3, uh, and at Apple Computer, the iPod, the iPhone, the iPad, uh, the iMac, uh, the list goes on and on. So outstanding performance by Mr. Jobs upon his return to Apple, and his compensation is directly tied to his outstanding performance uh, in the form of stock options and, uh, to a lesser degree, salary. So he, he really gets rewarded by stock. Uh, options at a lower cost, which will turn into a uh, stock of high value if he increases market value per share of, of the existing Apple stock. Control of the firm lies with the shareholders. As we said earlier, they elect the board of directors, board of directors hires and fires management. Um, now, you can the, the way you uh, control the firm is to vote at the, corp the annual meeting. Uh, if you are not, as a shareholder, or not in favor of the actions of the uh, executive officers, you can start a proxy fight. This happened several years ago uh, with the HP Compact battle. Uh, the Eula family was not really keen on the um, acquisition of Compact by Eula Packard, so they did a proxy fight. Uh, Chief Executive Officer Carly Fiorina thought it was a good idea for the two companies to merge, so she and some of the other uh, management team pushed the uh, acquisition through. It turned out that the shareholders voted on it and they voted favorably. They thought it was a good idea. And uh, the two companies did merge and have been doing very well since then. So it turned out uh, Ms. Fiorina was right in this case. Uh, the cost, though, uh, of the proxy fight in excess of $100 million. So these things are not inexpensive. Uh, you can vote your shares using this proxy form uh, shown here. Uh, it's basically like a little Scantron. You fill in your wishes for the board of directors. So if you're electing people to the board of directors, you'll see their names appear on here. Perhaps uh, PricewaterhouseCoopers as your internal auditor. You'll vote on things of uh, great importance to the corporation or things like the takeover that you saw previously. Uh, we do this using a proxy form.